fortnight from now, Uganda will be at the center of global diplomacy as it will host both the 19th summit of the Non-Aligned Movement, NAM, and the third G77 plus China conferences. Former Foreign Affairs Permanent Secretary Ambassador James Mugume enumerates merits that await Uganda as the host. It's an opportunity to host, showcase Uganda. Two, opportunity to represent Africa, promote tourism, promote Uganda as an, an investment destination, and the well-being of our people. So it, it means a lot for Ugandans. And I think generations of, of generations of young people can look back and say, when we hosted Chogam, this is what happened. When we hosted NAM and G77, and I think we, should, we are getting get more from G77, NAM and G77, than say we got from Commonwealth. Because this is, as I said, this is a bigger economic uh, group, 80% of the world population, 30% uh, of share of GDP. He points to the fact that Uganda needs to optimize this opportunity to develop her infrastructure and the hospitality industry. This is where, uh, in terms of market access for the African value chains, this is where resources to invest in our, our infrastructure, rail, road, energy, um, and, 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 and uh, technology. And most of it you'll see it come within the G77, within the South-South Corporation. So for Ugandans, this is an important event. And for us, for Ugandans to remember, to keep remembering, is remove it from government to government only. Take it a, a, a tear down. Business to business, um, civil, civil society to civil society, academia, think tanks, so that in schools, syllabus, in business, then you'll find that uh, we understand what is the benefit of NAM. However, Ambassador Mugume, a seasoned diplomat, advises organizers to avoid last-minute preparations given that such international events are announced ahead of time. I saw recently people here on Gaba Road still struggling and it was in, in December. I think it's, it's, there's something inherently Ugandan that we, we tend to uh, postpone preparation until almost the last, whether it's a wedding or it's a family function, you find people panicking at the last. Dokas Kimono, UBC News. <music>